Whenever you're working in an operations center, you have multiple different alerts or events vying for your attention. An engineer or an analyst will need to like prioritize those things. And if you're bouncing between different programs, application, and toolkits, it takes up time, it reduces your velocity to identify. So what we're trying to solve is how do we centralize where our infrastructure or security eventing is coming through, and also how do we centralize the methods by which we communicate to our partner teams in IT and in the wider business. We rely a lot on Slack workflows for our visibility between teams and between people. One of our biggest and most interesting uh, workflows actually was using Workflow Builder in conjunction with Workato to uh, build an on-call bot. Through connecting Workflow Builder and Workato, we're actually syncing with our paging tool, OpsGenie, so that anybody can just hit the workflow inside of Slack. It's a full drop down of everyone who's on call, and you select it, and it makes a phone call for you. That saves so much time, so much effort whenever you're doing a cross-team escalation. One of the main cybersecurity tooling integrations that we have is with CrowdStrike. We worked with our information and security engineering team to build another Slack bot into Slack to where like any acknowledgement of the detection inside of Slack also acknowledges it inside of the tool as well so we can kick off an investigation. And then we also are utilizing a nightfall inside of Slack and all the actions are taking place inside of those channels. If we did not have Slack streamlining how we communicate internally to IT and then throughout the rest of the business, we would have to have probably multiple engineers and analysts working a singular incident, event, or maintenance. I think one of the biggest powerhouses and the biggest game changers is how well it integrates with other tooling. I had no idea about the capacity of all the different bot functions or like embedded forms that you can generate. Honestly blew my mind. My advice would be like, think way outside the box about what you can create and standardize using Slack and especially its workflow integrations.